In your detail of a vision which presented itself to you amid the hills, you would describe with the minutest accuracy the Indian city of Benares upon the Holy River, the riots, the combat, the massacre, were the actual events of the insurrection of Shaiti Singh, which took place in 1780, when Hastings was put in immediate peril of his life. The man escaping by the string of turbans was Shaiti Singh himself. The party in the Kiosk were sepoys and British officers headed by Hastings. Of this party, I was one. I did all I could, could to prevent the rash and fatal sally of the officer who fell in the crowded alleys by the poison arrow of the Bengali. That officer was my dear friend. It was Old Deb. You will proceed by these manuscripts. Here the speaker produced a notebook in which several pages have appeared to, be, to have been freshly written. Quote, that at the very period in which you fancy these things amid the hills, I was engaged in detailing them upon paper here at home. In about a week after this conversation, the following paragraphs appeared in the Charlottesville paper. We have the painful duty of announcing the death of Mr. Augustus Bedloe, a gentleman whose amiable manners and many virtues have long endeared him to the citizens of Charlottesville. Mr. B, for some years past, has been subject to a neuralgia, which has often threatened to terminal, terminate fatally, but this can be regarded only as the immediate cause of his decease. The proximate cause was one of especial singularity, an excursion into the route Ragged Mountains. A few days since, a slight cold and fever were contracted, attended with a great determination of blood to the head. To relieve this, Dr. Templeton resorted to topical bleeding. Leeches were applied to the temples, and a fearful brief period the patient died when it appeared that in the jar containing the leeches had been introduced by accident one of the venomous vermicular sangsues which are now and then found in the neighboring ponds. This creature fastened itself upon the small artery in the right temple. Its close resemblance to the medicinal leech caused the mistake to be overlooked until too late. N.B. The poisonous Sangsu of Charlottesville may always be distinguished from the medicinal leech by its blackness, and especially by its writhing or vermicular motions, which very nearly resemble those of a snake. I was speaking with the editor of the paper in question upon the topic of this remarkable accident when it occurred to me how to ask how it happened that name of the deceased which had been given to Espedlo. I presume, said I, you have authority for the spelling, but I've always supposed the name to be written with an E at the end. Authority? No, he replied. It is a mere typographical error. The name is Bedlow with an E. All the world over. And I never knew it to be spelled otherwise in my life. Then, said I mutteringly upon, as I turned upon my heel, then indeed it has to come to pass that the one truth is stranger than any fiction. For bed low, without the E, what is it but old Deb conversed? And this man tells me it is a typogra typographical error.